Hey there, it's John Siskovich here with an update about the orchard. I had some tragedy in the orchard where I had some rodents get in and kill some trees. I'm going to share in this video exactly how many trees I lost, how many are remaining, and what my plan is going forward, and what are the lessons I learned to make sure that this doesn't happen again. <laughs> So behind me is 1.4 acres of dwarf apple trees, uh, 18 different varieties, 350 trees that were planted roughly three years ago. So out of 350 trees, I had a tragedy this winter where we had a crazy series of events where I now have dead, lost 220 trees. I only have 130 remaining. And that breaks my heart in ways that I can't really describe or convey on a three minute YouTube video. Um, but you have to move on. That's part of being a farmer. So what did I learn from this? It was a crazy year. We had a bumper apple crop, both wild apples and cultivated apples. And with that bumper crop of apples, that means we had a bumper crop of rodents because they had more food. The more, you fo the more food you give a population, the larger it's gonna grow. So bumper crop of rodents something that i can't quantify but i noticed is that we had less hawks than we've had in the past which means there were less ground or less aerial predators going after those rodents throughout the season um, and yeah so with those increased number of rodents they got in we had a warm mild winter which means the sap ran early and the trees came out of dormancy early so they were all juicy and tender and delicious. We had more rodents, less predators. Those rodents, because the ground wasn't frozen, dug underneath my rodent guards, got in there and just chewed away up the, the tree and killed it. And then after that happened, we had a dramatic freeze and it split the trunks. And so not only is the tree now dead because that cambium layer, the xylem and phloem is now gone from the tree so it can't transfer nutrients, but it's not structural because that trunk has essentially shattered. So really terrible, really awful way to start the year. But what am I gonna do next? So I thought about bridge grafting. You guys had left in the comments section some great information, some great resources on bridge grafting. And what bridge grafting is, is if you have a tree, this is your tree, and the mouse chewed right here, but this is alive and this is alive, you can take a twig or a scion, a cutting from that tree, and bridge from here to here and skip that chewed out layer. And that can save the tree if you're good at it, if you've timed it perfectly and you've executed it well, you can save the tree. These trees are so messed up in so many cases that there's no real place to graft to on the bottom. And it's chewed so far that you'd have to travel really far with that bridge graft. And they're now structurally unsound that I just don't feel good doing that. So in most cases, we're gonna lose the trees. Uh, I'm gonna cut them off and try to propagate the rootstock, graft another scion onto that rootstock and hopefully make another tree or let the rootstock sprout and then use those sprouts, make those root, cut those and then graft new scions onto those. So I'm learning a lot about grafting as I go. I'm also buying in some stuff because I realize that I can't perfect this and do this right away and have you know, replenish my orchard. So I'll buy a little bit, but I'd rather spend the time on the education and invest in making this a more sound system than going out and just spending more money. Uh, so I'm investing in me as, as much as I am investing in new trees to solve this. Uh, lesson learned for the future, you know, keep an eye on the trees more regularly to see, you know, maybe I could have caught it earlier and lost fewer trees and killed more rodents. Uh, clean out any and all grass around the trees before we go into winter because that was a contributing factor. I had cleaned it, I had mowed it, and I had weed whacked it, but weed whacked it, but it grew back just a little bit and had enough space for rodents to get in in some cases. I mean, there's a lot of different variables, there's a lot of different factors in what happened and what I'm gonna do going forward. The only way you're gonna get remotely all of it is subscribe to this YouTube channel, stay in touch with future videos, add your own two cents in the comments section we're a community, answer each other's questions. It's all about mutual support. Thanks for stopping in, taking the time to watch the video, and until next time, I will see you out in the field.